I actually was teaching video game music for a while. It was a sound design class specifically for interactive media. So we'd start with the history of 8-bit music um, and gradually trace as the processors of the, of the machines evolved and got more high resolution, um, how the music started to change and how the computer game music be lost its differentiation and started to sound like any music. Certainly the limitation of the machines that these guys were working with in the early 8-bit period um, forced them to be imaginative with, with limited resources. And I think that's similar to how early hip-hop producers or hardcore jungle producers or house and techno producers work, where they're working with samplers that had really tiny memories. So they're working within these really strict confines, squeezing the most out of the, the the limitations of their machines and, and taking them much further than these machines were ever intended for. Like 8-bit was just the limit of the technological capability at that point. It wasn't done to get a specific quality of sound. So it was really an accident that 8-bit sound was so beautiful and pristine and crystalline and, and crunchy. 